Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Fraser Field for Northeastern Conference Baseball, or, or as I like to call it, Thanksgiving in May. That's because it's English and Classical. The second meeting, Classical won the first meeting. Classical is already in the state tournament. Both teams have the same losses. Classical's played one more game. Classical is 10 and three. English is nine and three. A win tonight would put English in the state tournament officially, and wouldn't they love to do it against arch rival Classical? These are kids on both sides who have maybe played with or against each other for growing up. They might have played for or against each other in Little League, Babe Ruth, other sports maybe like soccer, basketball, football. They may play summer leagues together. I'm sure some of them are, are friends, knowing each other well. Two coaches doing an excellent job, both of them. Dougie Mullins for English. Mike Strukowski for Lynn Classical. And it's a miracle that they're playing. You look out here now, it is the best night, never mind day, the best night we've had in two months. It's up over 60, it's bright sunshine. Just a couple of clouds in the sky, but the people who worked on this field today did a magnificent job. They earned every penny they make today. You can almost still see puddles down in the bullpen area down there. It rained, and I mean it rained hard, almost all day. When I stuck my head out around 4 o'clock, I said, no way they're going to play because it's still raining hard at 4 o'clock. And then all of a sudden, it stopped, the sun came out, and it warmed up considerably. <coughs> and you could probably sit in the stands with shorts and maybe a t-shirt, but certainly with just a a light jacket. I dressed like I was going to the hockey rink because I figured it was going to be stone cold as usual. It's been the worst baseball season I have ever gone through. In first strike. I'm kind of surprised they don't have anybody running the scoreboard. Both teams usually have somebody. It's English's home game, obviously, with classical up. Down the way for a ball. Choma Moretta. Moretta is the starting pitcher. When he's not playing shortstop, he's on the mound. Does a good job either way. Hit the third, big hop. Hustling down the line was Galizia, they just got him. Looked like a very easy play for Severby, but Galizia really hustled down the baseline, almost beat it out. The play goes five to three for the first out. Fred Buckland, uh, outstanding center fielder. Also has got some big wins for Classical on the mound this year. And he's a pretty good golfer. Solidly hit the third. Sabrevi knocks it down. Safe at first, he'll reach on the arrow. So Ruby with a rifle shot over the labby, but he knocked it down. By the time he got control of it to make the throw, Buckland had beat it out. So run around with one out for Deshaun Anderson. Having a very good year for Classical, both offensively and defensively. Got some big RBIs, he's made some big plays in the field. As they throw over, Buckland gets back standing up.
Again, standing up. Long pause by Moretta. Down the way for a ball. Another toss over. Down the way again, 2-0. Oh. As I usually do starting off, I have to apologize. You're watching this game, you're seeing the backstop, the netting hanging down, blocking part of your view, or you're seeing a part of the netting on your screen. Reconstruction going, will be going on here, I should say, here at Fraser Field. Missing again, 3-0. and oh. The overhang is starting to collapse. So all the seating under the overhang have been cordoned off. You can't sit there. And the netting is affected by that and also by the heavy winds and rain we've had all year. And it's been blown into oblivion. So it's hanging down. And you can, on your screen, you probably see the netting hanging down with five baseballs snuggled right inside. And I also mentioned you could never hit a baseball into the press box. Foul ball, now you can. So we're hoping to hurry up and fix it. In for a strike. Right at the letters on the inside corner. Gets the green light, hits it to right field. Over near the line, making a very nice play. Eric Ubri with a long run, and down that area where he made the catch, it's a little bit muddy and wet, stayed with it and made the play. So two away for the pitcher, Aiden Dow. Now let's see if they try to do something with Buckler at first base. Fishing low for a ball. Watching over again, th expecting maybe Buckler might be going. Hit Solly in the right field for a base hit. Buckler will round second, go to third. Doubt with a big base hit. And they leave it to Brendan Lynn and the first baseman. Another multi sport athlete. <laughs> two outs, two on here in the top of the first. They throw it away. 
They were going to try and steal a run. Dow was going to get himself hooked up between first and second. Moretta turned, threw it to the second base and threw it high off his glove. Classical's going to get on the board. So two errors in the inning cost him. That's the play that Mike Sukowski likes to run. The runner at first just takes off before the pitch is thrown. They yelled to Moretta. He turned, went to the second base with the throw. And they throw it away again. Dow was going to slide home. Three errors in the inning. So both errors come with two out, and they cost English two runs. English did not make the tournament last year. They came close to a game or two out. And they can look at, there was a stretch, I think, three or four, maybe five in a row that they lost games by one run. And a lot of those games, they cost themselves with errors. And this year, they had been playing really strong defense, timely hitting, getting good pitching. And as I said, they were nine and three, one game away from qualifying. And all of a sudden, they have a breakdown here. Buckland reached on the infield error, but then the error by the pitcher allowed the runner from third to score. The error thrown into left field allows the runner to score. So Burby with a nice play. And he bounces it, and it's going to be another error. He made a great play getting to the ball. And it wound up and bounced it to first, and Labby couldn't come up with it. And English is being very gracious host for the Rams. Four errors in the inning. Two on ground balls that were fairly easy. The other one was a fairly easy... Trying to put a little too much mustard on the throw to second base with Dow trying to get himself hooked up. And he threw it away, high and off the glove. And then throw out in the left field. And I'm sure that Dougie Mullins is probably saying, can we throw a tent around this circus in this first inning? They haven't made four errors in their last four games. Jared Filippo. The shortstop will be the hitter. High chopper to the shortstop. Mateo to Labby for the third out for a disaster Eng English inning. Hoskell sends six to the plate. Two of them score. Four errors. They got one base hit in the inning. And it really had nothing to do with the scoring. Aiden down on the mound is a mistake to a 2 0 lead before he throws a pitch. He'll face Jomar Moretta, the pitcher, leading off. Julio Figueroa, the left fielder, bat second. Playing center field and batting third, Jose Morel. Juan Suburbi, the third baseman, hits cleanup. In the number five spot is Eric Ubri, the right fielder. The DH, Julian Silvestri. We'll hit number six. He's batting for the first baseman, Ethan Labby. The catcher, Albert Torres, will hit seventh. 
playing short and batting eighth, Anthony Mateo. And Claudius Prandish, the second baseman, will hit number nine. We didn't do that for the classical batting order, but I'll do that when they come to bat in the second inning. Give you a rundown of their lineup. Part of the fence is blocked off by signs from the navigators, but there's still a little bit of room for the cars to pull up and park, and they can sit in their car and watch the games. Still people coming in. Normally there would be a very big crowd. There's a decent crowd for this game right now. There'll be more people coming in, I think. And that's probably because most people didn't think this game would be played. With the heavy rain all day, they probably thought like most of the games this year will be rained out and rescheduled. So some of them may have found out a little bit later because there's people coming in now. So a good-sized crowd on both sides. Joe Marmoretta. I'm trying to get something started for English. We mentioned Classical won the first battle between these two. English is trying to get a split. And don't you know that next, a week from today, a week from, this today is Friday, next Friday night at 7 o'clock, English will be playing Classical in the first round of the annual Clancy Tournament. Down and in for a ball. So again, a big tip of the hat to all of the DPW workers who put a lot of time, effort, and energy, hard work into getting this field ready for tonight. That one's in for a strike. The infield is turf, but the outfield is grass. There's dirt along near the bullpen areas. Out in the outfield, the warning track is not turf. I know Fisher College and Richie Avery, who manages these two places, Manning and Frazier, are trying to hook up together and trying to come up with enough funds. He jumped on that changeup and lines it in the center field for a base hit. So Dow got ahead of him, but he changed up, and he ripped it right by Dow in the center field. They're trying to get together, Fisher College and Rich Avery, who's doing a great job managing these two facilities. Not an easy job. To try and come up with the funds. So you may see along the way that they're going to have a fundraiser someplace or try to raise some money or to put turf in the outfield. Wouldn't that be a huge boost? Julio Figueroa. Squared to butt. That took it outside for a ball. Dow with that pickoff move, he's picked off five or six this year at first base. As it was for English, a little different for Classical now in this game, being in the first base dugout. Because usually the third base dugout is home for both these teams when they're playing. Another quick throw over Moretta diving back. Slices it foul, hit it well, but got a little late swing. Sliced it down the first baseline. Tries to bunt, fouls it back to the backstop. So Dow is ahead of this hitter as well.
Foul tip held on to. Nice job by Galizzi. For the first out is a strikeout. Jose Morrell, the center fielder, the hitter. It's it high in the air, it's going to go out of play. Into the seats. Now again ahead of the hitter. Diving back at first is Moretta. People still coming in the ballpark. Oh, that crowd is going to pick up. Solly hit the second base. They get one. They get two. Nice turn in the middle by DeFilippo, the shortstop. 4-6-3. Gets him the double play and gets classical out of the inning. So we finish one here in this intercity battle. At the end of one, classical leads English 2-0. Daniil Ortiz, the second baseman, will lead it off. 7, 8, and 9 for classical as we start the second inning. English played giveaway in the first inning. Four errors. Got classical two runs with only one base hit. And the base hit really had nothing to do with the runs. Although the base hit did get on base. In first strike. And did score, so... But it didn't knock in a run, I guess is what I was trying to say. Jammed him inside, he got around and got way out in front and pulled it way out of play. Now to pull the trigger and held up. They checked with the bishop. He said, no, he didn't swing. Jammed him inside. He thought about it, started to pull the trigger, and just held up in time. That one bounced off the catcher. And the count evens at two. Wait, the DH... For classical is Ronald Torres. The catcher for English is Albert Torres. I have no idea whether they're related or not. Swing and a miss for strike three. James Wilkins, the right fielder, is the hitter. Misses the first pitch. Down and away for a ball. And people still coming in, so it's good to see. They haven't turned the lights on here yet. In for a strike. The lights are on at Manning. As usual, there's action over there. Looks like it's probably some kind of practice. It's not a not a game situation. Well, it could be either lacrosse or I don't think it's track. 
There aren't enough people over there for it to be track. Down away for a ball. <coughs> could be the professional soccer league or it could be part of that flag football league that plays there. Who knows? So many things go on over there. Reaches out and taps in the right field for a base hit. Wilkins went the other way with it. And just sliced it in the right field. He's on base. Ronald Torres, we just talked about him. He's the DH. He's hitting for the left field of Durant. And now I look, they wrote it down as Torres, but on the roster sheet that they gave me, it's Torres. So it's Torres. I don't know if that's the same for the English kids because they actually spelt it out as Torres, T-O-R-E-S-S. -S. They did the same with classical, but as I mentioned, the lineup sheet the game, he says Torres. So one has one R, two S's. The other one has two R's and one S. Chopped down the first baseline. Moretta tags the runner himself. Just a little chop. Moves Wilkins in a scoring position with two outs for the top of the order. Nico Galizzi ground to the third and they got him by an, an eyelash at first base leading off the ball game. Swing and a miss. So you gotta be turning the lights on here quickly. Chase that pitch that broke down away quickly, it's two strikes. It took a little too much time. Galizzi asked for time and got it from the home plate umpire. Galizzi hitting for the second time. Hospital sent six in the first inning. Slices it in the air down the right side. Long run for everybody. Can't get there. Ruby was well off the line in right field for right-handed hitter. Labby and Ruby gave it the college try. They worked hard. They not from lack of effort they didn't get there. It was just too far down and too far away from everybody. So Galizzi gets the swing again. Lined in the right field for a base hit. They send the runner home and they're gonna score. Two out lightning for Glasgow. Galizzi comes through with a big hit. He was down on the count. English. Adds to their lead, it's now 3 nothing. Galizzi coming through. 
with a big two out hit. He dives back at first base on the throw over. Well, the English Stuggo is a little bit quiet, classical a little bit louder as you would expect. Diving back again. Broke a little late, hung inside for a ball. Buckland reached on the first of the four hours. English, he came around to score the first run in the first inning. He was the runner at third when they tried that, tried to get hooked up between first and second and English threw it away. Chot to the mound. Moretta, who's a very good shortstop when he's not pitching, gets his second play in the inning. But English sees classical come up with a big hit, with an out, moving to second, and then a big two out hit by Galizzi. So on those two hits, classical added to their lead. They now lead it three to nothing. And English is going to go to work. It'll be four, five, and six. Juan Suburbi, Eric Ubri, Julian Silvestri. The middle of the order, four, five, and six. Uh, to face Aiden Dow. So far, he took, he took the mound in the first inning, got spotted two. Now he takes the mound in the second inning, and they've increased it to three. So he keeps reaping the harvest. He helped himself by scoring one of the runs in the first inning. I'm still kind of surprised the lights are not on. And it was a very sparse crowd. Starting this game has now turned into a very nice crowd. All oh, the student body has showed up. Nice to see. And again, cars still coming in. People still coming in. Late arrivals. Probably swung by and said, I don't think they're playing, but we'll swing by and find out. And all of a sudden they look and say, wait a minute, they're playing. And again, a big tip of the hat to the DPW guys. All of, they take a back seat. They do an awful lot of work all around the city. Not with a lot of publicity or notoriety or thank you. But they did a great job here. You Looking here now, you look down near the bullpen areas, you can see a few puddles where the dirt is. Other than that, you wouldn't know it rained today. And boy, it rained. And the lights come on here at Frazier Field. Down and in for a ball. Suburbia against Aiden Dow. English trying to get something going. Hits that one far way out of play. I think that one went over the wall and into the yard on Western Avenue. So the lights on at both places, Manning and Frazier. Lined in the right center field for a base hit. Just over the head of the second baseman. So as they did in the first inning, they get a leadoff single. 
In the first inning, he was wiped out on a 4-6-3 double play. Eric Ubri. All he did against Malden in the last game was get three base hits, scored two, and knocked in two. That's a pretty good month for some hitters. And we got a runner for Suburbia at first base. Chop. What a nice play by Anderson. They don't turn two, but what a play by Anderson. It was a chop. He was in thinking he might bunt. And when he came in, the chop, he had to go high in the air and, and pick it. And he actually wound up almost with a foot in foul territory in front of the bag. And he looked and said, I think I can get him at second. He's got a tremendous arm. And he made a great play knocking down the runner at second base. Play goes five to four for the force out. Julian Silvestri was the winning pitcher in that game against Malden. He had a pretty good day, too. He had a double and a single and knocked in a run. Just got a piece. That pitch was going down and away, and he chased it. And just got a piece. So is the DH, he's hitting for the first baseman, Ethan Labby. Way wide for a ball. Pumps it up, up in the seats, everybody ducking. Nice play by the fan over there. Chop towards third, it's going foul. Little off speed pitch again, he was way out in front of it and pulled it foul. Past third base. Again, might have been on the outside corner, might have been outside, he chased it. Two away for Albert Torres, the catcher. Actually, Albert Torres, the catcher, is the way they spelled it. Down and in for a ball. They throw over. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Sylvester was like one step off the bag. Again, a very short lead at first base. Hit the shot. Big hop for DiFilippo. 
on the fly. English is down, so Dow has given up two, two base hits in two innings. One of them was wiped out in a double play. We finished two in this intercity rivalry. Classical three, English nothing. Three, four, and five for the Rams. Tayshawn Anderson, Aiden Dow, Brendan Lannon to start the third inning. Moretta will start his third inning. Anderson flat out to right field. He had a deep to right field. Ubri made a great running catch. Had to go way into foul territory. One-handed it. Went off the grass into the probably muddy dirt down there into the water area. But stayed with it and made a great one-handed catch. Curveball drops in for a strike. Deshaun looked down at third. Mike Sikowski, the head coach, coaching third. Well, it took some time, and then he stepped off. Moretta very deliberate. Way up and in. Anderson was lucky to get out of the way of that one. That would have hurt. Solid shot to left field. On his horse going back. Making the... What a great play. Julio Figueroa. Went back over the shoulder. Made a great running play. Took at least a double away from Anderson. Outstanding defensive play by Julio Figueroa. Hit just beyond the reach of the second baseman. Dow will get his second hit. Good effort by Prandis. Went way to his right but couldn't get to it. So for the third inning in a row, Classical has a base runner with one out. And how big is that play in left field? By Figueroa now. That would have been another run for Classical. Anderson would have been in scoring position if, if Figueroa doesn't make that catch. Pop foul back and out of play. So I mentioned a nice crowd here. I, I forgot to mention. There's a nice crowd outside the fence, sitting in cars, and there's a little bunch of fans on a night like tonight where it's a really nice night standing outside the right field fence watching the game. So sitting in cars, standing up, all around. Missing inside, the ball off the catcher's glove. Dow winds up at second base. Pass ball. He wasn't going, but went off the catcher's glove. Bounced in front of him, and Dow took off. And he's in scoring position. Landon reached on one of the four errors English made in the first inning.
Down away for a ball. Missing inside. Dow is causing him to think about not only the, the hitter, but Dow at second base. He's bouncing around and getting a pretty good jump. Trying to distract Moretta. And that's ball four. So first and second now for Jared DeFilippo. We ground it out short to first. Missing low for a ball. Base runner seemed to be a little bit distracting for Moretta. Dow's got a good sized lead off second base. Hit in the air to right field. Ubri drop drifting back. Makes the catch, again, one-handed. Dow will tag up and go to third. He overhit it well. Ubri tracked it down. Now let's see if they, what happens if they send Landon. We saw a couple of games ago, Landon and Dow pulled this off. Trying to get hooked up between first and second again like they did in the first inning. And English actually threw it away and it cost him two runs because he didn't get down going a second. He wound up scoring. So let's see if they try to do it again. Dow was on the front end of that play that Coach Zukowski likes to run. Boy, a real long pause by Moretta. The runner takes off. He's just walking the second base. He was looking for a throw by the catcher. Doesn't get it. They let him go. There's no clock on Moretta. No 24 second clock. He took an awful long time in that stretch. So second and third now for Ortiz, who struck out swinging his one trip. Down and away for a ball. Missing low for a ball. Now, I don't, I didn't think that was ball four. I don't know if they just said put him on. Ortiz will walk to first base. First walk given up by either pitcher. 
I didn't think you could just say go to first. I thought you had a pistol. So the bases are loaded. Oscar has three on with two out. English will have a play at any base on a ground ball. Hit in the air to right center field in the gap. Three runs are going to score. Wilkins with a blast to right center field. Uri made a great try. Almost made a great catch. Some more two out lightning. Russell doubles their fun. It's now six to nothing. Dougie Mullins is out talking to the umpire about something. The umpire is following him all the way to the dugout. He, he can't be talking about batting out of order because they didn't. Whatever the question was, they straightened it out with the English scorebook. Ronald Torres, the DH, hitting for Durant, the left fielder, will step in. Wilkins got all of that and ripped it to right center field. Ubrey almost made another great play. He didn't miss by much to catching that. Down and in for a ball. So two walks in the inning and both of them score. Hit the second base. Big hop. Brandis makes the play over to Labby. But the damage is done again. Haskell sends seven to the plate. They put six up in the first and scored two. They sent seven to the plate here and scored three. Two base hits. Two big walks. The big hit, the bases clearing double by Wilkins. And English has got a huge hole to dig themselves out of. It's still early, it's only the third inning, but they've got to get something going offensively. Put a little pressure on Aiden Dow. They only have two base runners through two innings and one of them was wiped out on a double play. So we mentioned before, Dow started this first inning leading two nothing. Started the second inning, they pushed it to three nothing. Now we started the third inning and they pushed it to six nothing. So they just keep making it easier for Dow on the mound. Eight, nine, and one for English as we start the bottom of the third. Anthony Mateo, Claudius Prandis, and Joma Moretta. In for a strike. <laughs> Hit.
Hit the second base. Ortiz glides over to his left. And very quickly, it's four to three, the out, starting the third inning. Claudius Prandis, the second baseman. The difference, the ninth hitter for Classical has batted twice. In fact, everybody for Classical has batted twice. This is the ninth hitter for English. He's up for the first time. Fouls it into the catcher's glove for strike one. Down and in for a ball. Down on the mound, good athlete. Football, wide receiver played well for Coach Brian Vaughn. Played basketball as well. Coach Jasper Grasser. Hit in the air, deep, going back. Another great play. Wilkins, who just got the double with the bases loaded, now makes a tremendous running catch. Takes extra bases away from Prandis. Wilkins is already having a night. We're only in the third inning. What a tremendous play. Choma Moretta got a base hit his first time up, and he was the middle of that 4 6 3 double play that ended the first inning. Hits that one out of play. This is the night where all the planes landed. I'm looking at a plane flying right over the field. There's two more down the right field line, they're coming in. They look like they're only like 100 yards apart. Off-speed pitch bounces in the turf. Down and in for a ball. Those plays are almost in a straight line right over the right field foul pole. It to second base again. Another nice play by Ortiz. So three up, three down for English in the third inning. We've completed three in this Northeast Conference intercity rivalry. Glasgow scoring in all three innings leads six nothing over English. Top of the order for Glasgow, Nico Galizzi. Ground to the third the first time and they just got him by an eyelash. Last time up he got a big two out hit, knocked in a run. So it's one for two with an RBI. Ready, Missing wide for a ball. Moretta will start his fourth inning of work. In for a strike. Galizzi started the swing, held up, but it was in anyway. High for a ball. Wide for a ball. Costco loses some seniors, but they've got some kids back. Dow, DiFilippo, Luke Rayo pitched nicely in the last game. Sean Anderson, 
Nico Galizzi, Aaron O'Connor was hurt. Played very well last year. Cal Durant. Keneal Ortiz, the second baseman. They really got a lot coming back. Off a season where for 13 games they've already made the state tournament, 10 and 3. I don't have that for English. Swing and a miss the pitch down and away. They'll throw him out at first base. Second strikeout for Moretta. Brett Buckland reached on the first of four hours in the first inning and scored. Bounced to the pitcher the last time up. Pushes the bunt. That's going to be a tough play. They're not going to get him. Perfect bunt. Third baseman playing back, not expecting it. Dropped it right. Pitcher couldn't get to it. A perfect bunt for a base hit. And for the fourth straight inning, Classical has a runner on with one out. Moreno's been able to get the first out in every inning, but the second hitter reaches. Deshaun Anderson has been robbed a couple of times, although the first fly ball was a foul ball, but Ubri made a tremendous running catch in foul territory. And then the left fielder, Julio Figueroa, went deep to left field over his shoulder and took extra bases away from Anderson his last time up. So he's hit the ball as hard as you can hit it twice. He's been out twice. Good curveball for a strike. He hasn't thrown that pitch as much as he probably should. Trying to change up, threw it high and tight. Anderson ducked away from it. Solid shot to left field. Foul ball. Just went foul. Eden down the on deck here that doesn't agree. Another shot by Anderson. He's standing in second base. Mike Sukowski, I don't know, can't possibly talk to the base umpire because he was over by second base. The plate umpire got right on the line and said it went foul. Another shot by Anderson. Wasn't fouled by much. Where he got all of that. He's a very strong young man. And Mike Sukowski has him back next year. Out in front a little bit, just got a piece and fouled it off. Quick throw over, getting back, standing up is Buckland. And a long pause by Moretta. Down the dirt goes to the backstop. They have to try and find it. Buckler's going to keep going all the way to third base. Suburbia has to block the throw from going in the outfield. So the wild pitch, Buckland, the catcher Torres couldn't find it. 
And Buckland just took off and went all the way to third on the wild pitch. So here's some of the chance for, I think Dougie Mullins is coming out. I think he's coming out to check on his catcher because the ball bounced off the hand or the wrist or the arm of Therese. And when it bounced, it went high in the air and Therese couldn't find it. It bounced toward the English dugout and Buckland, great heads up by Buckland, just kept going. And went in third easily and they almost made an error on the throw. Suburbia made a nice, did a nice job blocking the throw from the catcher. Didn't let it go in the outfield. So Therese says he's okay. They're going to let him catch a couple, I think. So they get, Glasgow got two in the first, one in the second, three in the third. And now they're trying to score yet again here in the bottom of the fourth. The Anderson gets back in. He'll take one of those fly balls. He wants a base hit, but he'll take one of those fly balls right now for an RBI. Off the catcher, not far enough for Buckland to go anywhere. Bounced in the turf, off to rush, but he blocked it enough so it didn't go too far. And with only one out, Buckland didn't want to try and score. Another long pause by Moretta. Hit in the air behind first base. Long run for Irby. They're not going to get there. It drops in for a base hit. So Anz has been hitting shots all over the ballpark. He, he gets a little pop into short right field. He winds up with a double and an RBI. Aiden Dow was two for two, two hits, and both times he got on base with the hits, he scored. Hit behind shortstop, long run, shortstop can't get there. It's going to drop for a base hit. Uh, Mateo going back, trying to get it over his shoulder. He kind of slipped and fell. Dow's got his third hit, and there's two on for the Rams. And Dougie Mullins is coming out of the dugout. Uh, Doug's problem is they've got nine games to play, and we don't have that much time left in the regular season, he's gonna get a whole bunch of games piled up on each other. That's why they were very happy they got this game in tonight. And that's gonna mean an awful lot of pitching use. So if you may be wondering why Moretta was gone this far, first of all, the first inning was not his fault. The arrows put him in a hole McClaskill is swinging the bat from top to bottom. And having eight or nine games in six days, really difficult. Brendan Lanner reached an error, walked and scored. So he's 0 for 1 with a run scored.
in for a strike. I hope you can see that beautiful, out in the outfield, beautiful scenic view right over the center field fence, stretching from left to right with the sun setting. Gorgeous night here at Fraser Field for a change. Again, a very long pause by Moretta when he steps off. Hit to the right side. They only have one play, first base. They'll throw Landon out for the second out. Anderson moves over to third. Down moves over to second. Jared DiFilippo bounced the short and fly to right. Seven of the nine classical players have either scored a run or got an RBI or both. Curveball in for a strike. He only throws that pitch on special occasions, I guess. Because it's a good pitch. Missing inside for a ball. <laughs> On the inside corner for a strike. Hit in the left field for a base hit. They're going to score both runs. The throw coming to the plate is in time. They throw him out. Nice throw by Figueroa. That's his second nice play. So DiFilippo gets a base hit and RBI. Anderson scores. Dow was thrown out at the plate. Classical tacks on two more. They had five hits coming into the fourth inning. They got four hits in that inning. That little double dumped in the right field for an RBI. Now the base hit by DiFilippo for an RBI. Figueroa has made that great catch in left field. Now he makes the great throw, throwing the runner out at the plate. Nice tag by the catcher, Torres. And once again, Dow has got that lead increased. He's now ballooned to eight to nothing as they get two more. So every time he takes them out, he's got a little more to work with. <coughs> It'll be two, three, and four for English. And some of those loyal fans are now <laughs> leaving the ballpark. We're halfway through the game.
Julio Figueroa, the left field. There has been a mention in left field. Jose Morel, Juan Suburbi, the three hitters. Fishing inside for a ball. In for a strike. That one goes to the backstop, two and one. Hit in here at the short left field. Long run by the shortstop. Nice play. Jared DiFilippo covered a lot of ground. Hit into short left field. Left fielder had no chance on that ball. DiFilippo went back and takes a big hit. Base hit away from Figueroa. Jose Morrell bounced in with 4-6-3 double play. Missing inside, 2-0. Way up and away, three and oh. On four pitches, Morel draws a walk. Dow had retired six in a row before he walks his first batter, Morrell. Only the third base runner for English. Two hits and a walk, and one of the hits was wiped out on the double play. So Verbi got a base hit, lining it into right center field. Up and away for a ball. Up and away again. Six in a row out of the strike zone by Dow. In for a strike. That breaks the streak. That action going on at Manny Field is a soccer clinic for young kids. I can see a few young kids running around having a soccer clinic. Nice stop by Galizzi. They throw it down to first base. He was, Morel was way off the base. Nice stop by Landon. Almost went into right field. English needs base runners. Mm. 
Very long pause by Dow, and he picked him off. T he waited a long time pause, and Morrell got off the base and got picked off. He goes one to three to six for the out. So now th two of the three base runners are out on the base pass, a double play and a pickoff. Hit foul to the backstop. And a little pop. Might have got that down at the end of the bat. So they give up the walk, but they face only three. English is down in the fourth. We've completed four here at Fraser Field. Classical with a comfortable 8 nothing lead over English. Changes all over the place for English. Labby, who was the first baseman, is now pitching. Third baseman, Suburbi, moves to first. The pitcher, Moretta, moves to short. And the shortstop, Mateo, goes to third. So Moretta goes four complete. Gives up eight runs. Six of them were earned. Nine hits. Struck out one, walked two. Pitch is in for a strike. Tenille Ortiz has struck out, walked, and scored. Hit way up in the air to the infield. Moretta, all the way over. He could have been playing second base. He crossed all the way over in front of the second baseman to make that play. He called for it right away. It just kept drifting. So it winds up a pop-up to the shortstop on one pitch, even though it was way to the right of second base. James Wilkins has had himself a night. He singled and scored in the second, knocked in three with a double in the third, and made a tremendous catch in right field. Reaches for that and hits it up in the seats. Swing and a miss. High in the air, that's going to make it up in the seats as well. Those planes just keep coming in over that right field foul pole. High and away for a ball. Down the way, and the catcher's got to the catcher was not going to go get it. He, he didn't really hustle. He's trying to walk after it and forgot. You know what? The runner can go.
We saw that in a game earlier this year. I'm not going to name the team. The catcher didn't go get it. And the hitter striking out went all the way to third base and took the turn. He was almost going to score. He almost had an inside the park home run on a strikeout to the backstop. Wide for a ball. Ronald Torres to DH. Bounce to the pitcher and bounce to the second baseman. They throw it down easily back as Wilkins. Uh, Torres is the only hitter for classical who hasn't scored a run or got an RBI. In for a strike. They throw it down again. Swing and a miss. Off to catch a terrestre, but not far enough for anybody to go anywhere. Down the way, they throw it down again. They're really working on Wilkins on the first pace. <laughs> Low for ball four. So after a quick out, back to back walks, it brings up. The catcher and leadoff hitter, Nico, Nico Galizzi, grounded out, singled in a run, struck out swinging. The strikeout, they had to throw him out of first base. In for a strike. Good pitch on the corner for a strike. Quickly 0-2. Swing and a miss, he gets him. So an out, two walks in and out. Brett Buckland reached on there and scored, bounced to the pitcher, singled and scored. So he's one for three, but he scored two. Hasn't had a play in center field yet. Wide for a ball. Therese fake throwing it down to first base. Suburbia is way behind the bag. He's not covering. He's not holding the runner with, with runners at first and second. High for a ball. Deshaun Anderson, the on deck hitter.
Fishing low for ball three and zero. Oh. Lambie in relief of Moretta. It was English getting classical off to a real good start, making four errors in the first inning. Taking all the way, it's in for a strike. And he'll still be fussy here with the count three and one. Hit off the pitcher, the flex towards first base. They got him. Buckland hustling a diving try to get to the base. He hit it off the pitch of Lavi. It deflected towards first base. The little flip gets Butler. And for the first time in the ball game, in the top of the fifth, Classel doesn't score. And they don't let Dow come out with a, any more runs in adding to the lead. But we're moving into the bottom of the fifth. It's still eight to nothing. So those two walks don't hurt. It'll be five, six, and seven for the Bulldogs. I mentioned it's Friday, seven o'clock night game. And I, as I like to say, Thanksgiving in May when these two teams get together in any sport. And one week from tonight, it will be the Clancy Tournament here at Fraser Field. A little different setup this year. They'll still have... Four and seven, and these two teams will be playing again next Friday night at seven o'clock here in the Clancy, which I believe is, I think it's the 26th year. It might, it's been around for a long time. But the difference will be they're going to play at 10 in the morning and 12.30, the championship game in the afternoon. They usually went 12 and three. So they're going to go 10 and 12.30. And on that Saturday will also be the Holland Tournament down at the Grace Regatto softball field down behind Breed and Callahan. And that will be a little different too because they're going to start at 3.30 and go 3.30, 5.30 for their two games. They usually went at 6 and 8. So two tournaments that honor two terrific gentlemen. John Holland softball. Nipper Clancy, the outstanding baseball coach who I like, I like to call one of the great characters in the city of Lynn. I mean character in a nice way. Eric Ubri bounced out third to second. His one trip. He's shown here and making a very nice defensive play. In a left field for a base hit. It's only the third hit. But it's the third time in five innings they got the leadoff hitter on. But they haven't been able to get anybody, never mind scoring, they haven't gotten to second base yet. Julian Silvestri struck out his one trip. He went down swinging. Hit foul to the backstop. It bounces all the way back. It's going to wind up in play. Pitch a little bit outside. He went for it anyway and punched it into the seats over the classical dugout. So two quick strikes on Silvestri, the DH. He's hitting, used to be the first base, but now the pitcher, Ethan Lavi. Hit back to the mound. This could be two. 
safe at first. Landon made a nice play to pick the throw. They get the runner in the middle. They almost got their second double play. Albert Torres, the catcher, grounded out, shot the first. Good hustle by Silvestri down the line to beat that throw. Missing wide for a ball. Line to right field. It's going to bounce in front of Wilkins for a base hit. English finally gets a run to the second base. Wilkins playing a very deep right field. Especially for right-handed hitters. Anthony Mateo bounced out second and first. Down and in, nice stop by Galizzi. And again, to show you the difference, this is the eighth hitter for Classical. Ninth hitter up next. This will be the only the second time they've batted. Classical's first and second hitters have batted three times. Excuse me, four times. So Classical has gone through the lineup three times. I'm not sure what the umpire saw over there. He saw something that was maybe in play. Cleared everybody away. Good curveball. The lost speed breaking ball just tantalizing broke over the outside corner. That's a nice pitch. Down and in for a ball. Good foul behind home plate. Vincent Glasgow made the tournament. It just dawned on me that chasing that foul ball behind on play was David Bernard. He's been out. He won't play at all this year. He got hurt in football. And what a loss. He's, he's virtually their number one pitcher, but he plays other positions, a good hitter. And that's a big loss. And also, Aaron O'Connor, who's only a sophomore, but he played last year as a freshman and played did some very nice things for Classical last year. They expected bigger things for him this year. He got hurt. He hasn't played yet. They're hoping he comes back. Lined in the left field for a base hit. That's going to score a run. Mateo comes through with a big base hit. English gets on the board. So three singles and four hitters. They only had two hits coming in the inning. Claudius Prandis, the second baseman, got robbed. He hit a shot to right center field. Was going to be extra bases. And Wilkins went back over the shoulder, made the catch, and took it away. Top of the order, Joe Marmoretta on deck. So Dow's not going to get his shutout. 
High for a ball. He may have been upset that Classical didn't score in the fifth inning because they scored in all four innings. They kept building to his lead. Slice down the right field line. It's in for a base hit. They had to wait to see if it would be caught. So everybody's going to hold up. I can't believe they didn't run. That ball was never going to be caught by Wilkins. The only question was whether it was fair or foul. English gets a little life in their dugout. They have the bases loaded with one out. And the top of the order up. Beretta has singled and grounded the second. But the only question when that ball to right field was, was it fair or foul? Because it was never going to be caught. Line to right field for a base hit. Two runs are going to score. So all of a sudden it's eight to three. Second and third and one out. And it brings that trip out to the mound to discuss things with Aiden Dow. Five hits in six batters. And I mentioned he only had two hits coming into the inning. Julio Figueroa. Has struck out and popped a shot. But it, Andy Diverge is hitting for Julio. Hit deep to center field. Way back to center field. He hit that a long way. So they've cut the lead in half. And they have a runner at third with two outs. Tavares hit that a mile to center field. Buckland had to go back. And it was dead center field. Missing inside. Oh, he called it a strike. I guess I should let the umpire umpire. This is Eric... Enriquez hitting for Morel. Swing and a miss. Quickly it's two strikes. So Dougie Mullins going to his bench. The runner coming home. Out at the plate. Moretta tried to steal home. Galizzi put the tag on. Eagles trying to steal a run. But they wind up with four or five hits in six hitters after they only got two and then a, a shot. The hardest shot in the inning, the, the dead center field by Diverge. They come up with four runs, and they've cut the lead in half. 
So now through five, it's classical eight, English four. Deshaun Anderson will lead off the sixth inning. Uh, that was a little sample of what English can do when they get going. They've been doing that all year. That's, that's why they're nine and three. But they put themselves in a hole right off the bat in the first inning. And they only had three base runners through four innings, and two of them were out on the base pass. A double play and a pickoff. Anderson has fly to right. Had a hit taken away on a great play by Julio Figueroa in left field. And last time up, after hitting all those shots, and the last time up, he hit another rope that Classical thought was fair. A line shot down the left field line and was just foul. And he wound up dumping one inside the right field foul line for a double, getting an RBI and scored a run. <coughs> Made a very nice play at third base, too, earlier in the game. He chops it to third. Mateo, who's now the third baseman, rifles it over to Suburbi, who's now the first baseman. So one up, one down in the sixth. Aiden down is perfect. He's got three base hits, scored two runs. Almost scored the third run. He was thrown out at the plate on a nice throw by the left fielder. Pops it up. And coming on, the center fielder, Morrell. Two quick outs in the sixth. Brendan Lannon. Reached an error, walked and scored, bounced out second to first. In first strike. This is Labby in his second inning of work. Trying to shut Klosko down and see if English can dig their way back in. They've cut it in half with a big fifth inning. That one goes to the backstop. Hit in the air. Suburbia giving chase. She's going to run out of real estate. Got to worry about running into the fence. We got warm up action for Classical. Hit in the air. And the center fielder. Morell makes it. He came all the way over, cut in front of the right fielder. So he makes two plays in the inning. And that's second inning in a row. Classical doesn't score. First thing that Classical does not get a base runner. We're moving into the bottom of the sixth. And English still has got some work to do. They got those four runs. They got five hits, four of them. Back to back to back to back. And then that shot to de deep dead center field for an RBI sacrifice fly by Diverge. So they cut in half. They got a little momentum getting those four runs and they're getting a one, two, three inning. But they still have some work to do. It'll be three, four, and five. Oh 
Looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter. Nathaniel Espinal is hitting for Morrell. Morrell was in the batter's box with two outs in the fifth, but Moretta was out trying to steal home. So it will be Espinal leading off. I'm sorry, I read, a, I read the number is number eight. It's number six. So it's Justin Flores. Some of the numbers are hard to pick up on the jerseys of English. Foul back. So it's six, not eight. Wide for a ball. Down the way for a ball. Dow starting his sixth inning of work. <laughs> Missing low for a ball, three and zero. Oh. He goes after the 3-0 pitch, grounds it to short. I'm not sure he had the green light. One away, Juan Suburbia has singled and hit a little soft line drive to the second baseman. Thought about it, held up, the pitch was high for a ball. Up and away for a ball. Up and away again, 3-0. So Suburbia, I would assume, would be taking at least one. He does, and it's in for a strike. And again, like I always say, you got to be fussy. Three and one, it's got to be a very good pitch. It's got to be a pitch you can handle. Hit in the air to right center field. Long run for Buckland. He gets there, almost overran it, made the play. Covered a lot of ground. Very good outfielder. He had to go a long way. He was to, to the left field side of second base. He had to go way to right center to track that down. So two up, two down. Emmick Ubre reached in the field his choice and singled. Kalisi tried to keep it fair down the third base line. Just as he touched it, it was foul. He tried to tip it back in the fair territory. Down, I think, try to Change up on the curveball and it stayed way outside. Right, 
hit back out of play. Ruby asked for time and got it. Hit in the center field for a base hit. Ruby's on for the third time. He's got his second hit. He'll bring up. Julian Silvestri, the DH, he has struck out, reached on the field his choice, and scored. Swing and a miss. Chased that pitch was down, maybe a little bit away. Might have been on the outside corner, but he chased it and swung right through it. Hits it foul up in the sheets. Quickly, two strikes. Swing and a miss, he gets him. So the hit is stranded. Dow has gone through six. He has the edge over English. English is down to the last three outs at the end of six complete. Classical trying to make it two in a row over English, and they've got an eight to four lead with one inning left. Jared DiFilippo will lead it off. He's one of those very good players coming back next year. We mentioned Dow, DiFilippo, Rayo Apicha, Anderson, Galizzi, O'Connor, Ortiz, the second baseman, Durant. Anthony Marino's only a freshman. He's done some very nice pitching in a couple of outings. So classical. 10-3 in the tournament, and the future looks bright as well. And I, I mention again, I, I'm not trying to slight English. I get a lineup card from English. Mike Shukowski has a, a form that he fills out all the time, and below it has a list of his team by class. So he lists them by class. That's how I know that who's back and who's not. Line foul down in that grassy knoll off to the right side. People was grounded out, flied out, singled in a run. Pop back. I thought for a minute that might be gonna come right in the press box. That was hit right over our head. Up and away for a ball. Hitting it foul again. Warm-up action again in the classical bullpen. Lined in the center field for a base hit. DiFilippo gets his second hit.
This is the first time that Klausel got the leadoff hitter on base. Long run by the catcher. What a great try. Long run on the fly, trying to make the catch in front of the classical dugout. He almost bumped into Suburbi, who was there. Lab Labby was trying to get there, too. It wasn't from lack of effort that Torres didn't make that play. Almost made a great play. So Neil Ortiz has struck out, walked and scored, popped the shot. Throw down, Suburbi made a nice stop, so it didn't go in the outfield. Suburbi's bouncing around down there, he stretched a little bit, trying to get the kink so. Over diving back as Di Filippo. Squared the bunt, took it, throw it down again. Torres not bashful, he'll throw it around. As will Galizzi for Clasco. Mike Sukowski flashing the sign down to first base. I think he just changed the sign. I think he thought the count was different. Hit the third, backing up. They get one, they get two. Nice turn in the middle by Prandis. That's only two outs, by the way. English came off the field, but it's only two outs. They've only had two hitters. English has to go back on the field. They were excited about that double play. He got started by Mateo. Good turn in the middle by Prandis. Nice stretch by Suburbi. So James Wilkins. Singled and scored, doubled in three runs, walked, and made that great play in right field. Swing and a miss. High for a ball. Wide for a ball. That leadoff hit by DeFilippo was the first hit given up by Lavi. He walked to in the fifth, but got out of it with a strikeout and bounced back to the mound. Now he gives up a hit and is doubled up as it's hit out of play.
Low for a ball. Looking ahead, the English is bottom of the seventh. They'll have the bottom three, seven, eight, and nine scheduled. Hit foul again. Going to bat by Wilkins hanging around, making Labby work. Fouled off the mask of the catcher. They want to make sure Torres, Torres is okay. He's been taking a beating back there. Chase that pitch, it was way up and in. That's a very good performance by Labby. He pitches three innings. Didn't give up a hit, didn't give up a run. Walked two, struck out one. Three base runners, two walks and a single, but the single was wiped out on a double play. So he did a nice job. So it's, he only faces three hitters. So after the two walks in the fifth inning, if you count the double play, he retired eight in a row. He gave up the base hit. But after the two walks, he only faced eight hitters in three innings. So he did a nice job coming in, keeping Clasco off the board. But now English needs a big inning. Down will start the seventh inning. And again, as we mentioned, it'll be seven, eight, and nine. And this seven, eight, and nine were big in that fifth inning. They got three consecutive hits. It was a leadoff hit and a force out, but then three consecutive hits by seven, eight, and nine. And a, and a fourth consecutive hit by the leadoff hitter, along with the sacrifice fly by Diverge, got them their four runs. So the bottom of the order did the damage for English. They got eight hits off Dow, and three of them have come from the bottom three in the order. Ruby's got two, Moretta's got two. In for a strike. Dow trying to pitch Klassel to their 11th win. Reaches and hits that one up in the seats. I don't have my book handy. It's been a while since English played classical, but this Dow might have got the win in the last game as well. Punches that toward the dugout. Coaches and players bailing out there. Hit the shot. De Filippo, he's very steady. He's not flashy, but he gets the job done. They get to rest. Six to three for the first out. Anthony Mateo was grounded to the second, singled in a run and scored in that big fifth inning. High and away for a ball.
in for a strike. Hit in the air to center field. Buckland started in. Now he drifts back the ball. Carried a long way. There must be a air conditioning on someplace. There's a breeze going out to center field. Buckland took a step in. And he wound up going very deep in the left center field to track that down. Mateo hit that a long way. English is out of their last out. Cordis Prentice had extra bases taken away on a great catch by Wilkins on a shot to right center field. Ran a long way to track it down. Last time up, he got a base hit and scored a run. So he's one for two with a run scored. Probably should have should have been two for two. In for a strike. Swing and a miss. They're down to their last strike. Chase that pitch up and away for strike three. So Doc comes out and gets a one, two, three inning. His second one, two, three inning. He got one in the first, but he got a base hit that was a double play. So Classical makes it a sweep. Dow goes seven, gives up eight base hits, walked only one, struck out four. Five of those eight hits came in one inning. Four of them came back to back to back to back when English got their four runs. And Classical will go to 11 and three. English will drop to nine and four, and they'll have to wait till their next game to try and qualify for the state tournament. Classical. So English helped them in the first inning. Four errors. They got a base hit, one base hit. They scored two runs. Two of them scored. Buckland and Dow scored on errors, and it was 2 nothing. They added a run in the second. Wilkins got a base hit, went to second on a force out. A big two-out hit by Galizzi made it 3 nothing. In the third, Dow got a base hit. Landon walked. Ortiz walked. And then Wilkins got a big three RBI double to push it to six nothing. And then in the fourth, an Anderson double knocked in a run. DiFilippo got a single knocking in a run. And that made it eight. And that was all she wrote as far as classical was concerned. English got back in a little bit in the fifth inning after having only two hits through three, uh, through four. In the fifth, Ubrey got a base hit. Knocked down on the field of choice by Silvestri. And then Teres, Mateo, Prandis, and Moretta all got base hits. Prandis' base hit, uh, Mateo's base hit knocked in a run. Moretta's base hit knocked in two. And then Diverge pinch hitting hit a shot and a half to dead center field that Buckland tracked down and wound up an RBI. And that was the four runs. And that was it as they shut the door in the last two innings, they had one base run, a single, and that was it as Dow got two more strikeouts in the last two innings. He wound up with four. So for classical, Galizzi had an RBI single. Buckland was on base twice, and era a base hit, scored twice. Anderson had an RBI double and scored a run. He had one a tremendous play by Figueroa, uh, took extra bases away. Aiden Dow had three base hits, scored two runs and was the winning pitcher. Landon reached on an error, walked, scored a run. Filippo had two base hits with an RBI. Ortiz walked, getting a run and scoring a run. Wilkins had the big night. He had a base hit, a walk, a three-run triple. He scored a run, so he accounted for half of the offense for classical, and he made that great catch in right field. On the other side, Moretta had two hits, Knocked in two. Traverse pinch hitting got an RBI sacrifice fly. Suburbi got a base hit. Ubri got two hits. Silvestri 
reached base and scored a run on a fielder's choice. Torres had a base hit and scored a run. Mateo had a base hit, scoring a run, knocking in a run. Fernandez had a base hit, scoring a run. All of that was in the fifth inning. So Dow will get the win. Moretta will get the loss. English will drop to 9-4. and four. Classical goes to 11-3. and three. And Classical now has the bragging rights. They've won the first two. English will try to salvage a win next Friday night in the second game of first night of the Clancy Tournament. But right now it's going to be a little tough for English here. They gave away the first inning, and it just went downhill after that. So the final score, 8-4. to four. Classical wins it for the second time over English. They'll go to 11-3. and three. English will drop to 9-4. and four. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm Don Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.